Hey guys, this is Paul Tarsi Foam Fighters. I got the FF Supersonic back out of the park to fly. Um, today's a bit cooler, so I decided I was going to run it on a 5S battery and see what type of speeds we can get. Um, hopefully, we can get close to 100 miles an hour. Um, last it was flying, um, what was it, 91 miles an hour with the 4S. So I don't know <laughs> these motors and props can handle it, but we'll give it a try. I'm going to do a watt ma amp meter test real quick here and see what type of power um, it's pulling. Okay guys, there's the numbers, 68 amps total, uh, voltage drop 19, um, 1324 watts, so that's quite a bit more wattage, um, let's see, but that's still not, you know, the max these motors can handle, I believe they're almost rated at about 900 watts a piece, um, so let's see, 68 amps too, so that's only 34 amps, so we're still also under the max amps, so Hopefully it should be good as long as the props can hold up. So let's throw it in the air, see what happens. Let me see if it's trimmed out. I think it feels like it's, okay. A little bit of a roll. Ooh, I think that going pretty far out there. Yeah, it's a bit louder with the 5S. Trying to keep it in over this uh, lake area here, or flood pond. Let me try a, a run coming towards me. Yeah, doing some cool down laps. <laughs> um, you know, with these 3D printed motors that are motor mounts, that's one thing you gotta <laughs> kind of be aware of. You know, if you get the motors too hot, they will melt them motor mounts. So, you know, if you guys do that, do make 3D printed motor mounts, you know, kind of keep that in mind, you know, especially if it's a hot day. Uh, thankfully, uh, the weather's a bit cooler today. Yeah, for the FF Supersonic, I'm pretty much, I think I'm just gonna kind of abandon the rudder and the differential thrust. I'll just keep it a, a basic bank and yank design. Um, that works kind of best for this setup. Yeah, that thing's moving. <laughs> and so hopefully we break 100 miles an hour. That was kind of my goal originally with this plane, you know, specifically because it is supposed to be like a supersonic airliner, so. So this one definitely is a bit <laughs> noisier. Hopefully we get a good GPS run.
Okay, let's do a little bit of a cool down lap. After those hard pulls. <laughs> I know, does it look much faster, you guys, than the 91 on the 4S? Wonder if I just need to prop up a little bit. So hopefully we're breaking, you know, the previous speed mark. I was hoping to, you know, hit 100 miles an hour, but we'll see. Another cool down pass. I'll try a speed run coming the other way this time. and coming that way. I think we're going into the wind that way. Okay, guys. I'm going to probably start bringing it in now. fast <laughs> let's see what the GPS is <sighs> 69 that can't be right now I don't know I think this GPS is kind of crappy so yeah it was definitely going faster 69 so I don't know why the GPS only picked up 69 miles an hour I need to find my old GPS that I had so I'll have to do another run sometime with the 5s that looks definitely inconclusive i don't think that was a 69 mile an hour run it definitely looked like it was faster than that <laughs> 